Hello, and welcome to Zack Baby TV. And thank you for joining us around this campfire out here in the woods. Will you never know what's lurking in the dark? This story tonight is something that I wrote. Something that's a legendary game from back in the day. Now being brought to life for your listening pleasure. Doom. Operation Rescue. The year was 2127. You can call me Sergeant Highland. Max for short. We were on the furthest planet in our solar system known as Pluto, where the UAAF, United Aerospace Armed Forces, built a small bunker-type military compound created to protect, more like, guard, the gates of hell, with around 200 people manning the base. No, I'm not kidding. They really opened a portal to the seven levels of hell that you know from the Bible. Or Hades in Greek mythology. Whatever. You get the point. They wanted the gates moved to the farthest place in our solar system to avoid another outburst that happened in the 1990s, so they brought it here. To give you a better visual of the gate, Watch the movie Stargate with Kurt Russell. That'll give you an idea of what it kinda looks like, but much, much more sinister looking. Technology has advanced since the early 2000s, so traveling the Mars is like clockwork and anywhere else for that matter too. I can't get too detailed on the whole scientific side of shit. I'm a soldier. All I know is to eat, drink, fuck, and kill shit. But if you ever seen that movie Event Horizon, you'll get the picture of how we travel space now. Yeah, I'm a classic movie buff, I know. Now our married soldiers have their families here on base for company. It's not easy here as we're so far away from home and our tours are four years long, so anyone can snap, go nuts, or do something really stupid if not monitored or recognized in time. Now my personal squad is only a team of four. Jackson, Dominguez, Connor, and myself. And we're all like family. We did everything together, even outside of work back home on Earth. Dominguez and I were the single ones while Jackson and Connor were married with children. <sighs> I'm blabbing too much. Here is what happened where it got scary as shit. Jackson snapped. Three years down and he snapped. Big time. It's in the middle of the night, and this motherfucker took his two kids by their hands and casually went and opened the fucking gates. Looked back at me and Connor, smiled, then turned his head and walked through the portal and disappeared. We tried to stop him, but he wasn't making any sense almost like he was possessed or something. He wouldn't even acknowledge his wife's crying pleas. We all froze in shock as our boy took his girls into that thing and left without a warning, no note, no nothing. My babies! You have to get my babies! She screamed cryingly. I looked over at Connor and Dominguez and they nodded. We spoke with Jackson's wife to try to calm her down and to let her know that we'd be going in after them. She stopped and looked at me crazy. You're... you're going in there? Yes. Your little girls have no right to be in that damned place. And for whatever reason your husband had to do such a thing? Well, we'll try to figure that out too once we're on the other end. I can't promise anything. But we will do everything we can to bring your little girls back home, I told her. The alarms finally stopped alarming, and the lights stopped flickering, as everything was now back at ease. 
at least for the most part. Most of the people were still shocked and standing around trying to figure out why and how. Connor, Dominguez, and I went to the armory, got our space armor on, and loaded up on weapons and ammunition that basically level a city block. I, for one, was old school. I also include a Rambo-style knife on my leg as a last resort, but it also made me feel like a total badass. Aside from water, we just brought a few protein bars as we had no clue how long we were going to be down there. Heck, we didn't know if we were even coming back. But we had to try. For the kids. It, it's not right, I told myself. We all talked privately to our loved ones, then went to the front of the gates and stood there. Moment of truth, Connor joked, smiling. Yeah. This is gonna suck ass, Dominguez said, laughing. But my wife drove me nuts years ago. Fuck it. I nodded, pushed the symbol which read, Finit hic dio, in Latin meaning, God ends here. The gates opened, and we walked inside. A bright red light surrounded my vision, then suddenly heat all around me which felt like a Florida summer. Then BAM! nothing. We three stood together at the end of the center hallway inside some type of dungeon-style space. The place was massive. Jail cells all around. Everything was dark aside from wooden torches that were hung against the rocked walls. It almost had a medieval feeling to it. Screams echoed throughout the hallway coming from all directions. Screams of pure pain and torture. We all took a deep breath and started walking forward. <laughs> People screaming for help on both sides, reaching their arms through the bars, bloody bodies half burnt from fire and stench of human flesh from all around us. Help us. I ignored the people and my team followed behind me, keeping focus just as we were trained. I made the sign of the cross with my hand and kissed my crucifix from around my neck and loaded my double barrel shotgun. I guess making the sign of the cross down here pissed something off. Because all of a sudden, everything went silent. I mean, total silence. Around the far corner, something huge, seven foot like red hellspawn monster came charging at us horns on its head like a goat and teeth like a snake. This fucker started crawling on all fours on the walls and crawled overhead like some fucking grudge movie. I raised my shotgun, aimed and blasted two rounds right into its chest while my team fired behind me. The creature lay dead on the floor, blood splattered everywhere. We slowly walked up to it. Dominguez kicked its shoulder to see if it was still alive. Connor whispered, you're one ugly motherfucker. Okay, Arnold, I joked at him. Let's keep moving. We continued to walk down the hallway, making a right turn. Ahead was rows and rows of hallways. This place was a maze. Yet, I think we weren't on the right level, I told my crew. Look! Towards the back wall, which looked like some kind of an elevator, there was a girl's doll laying right on the ground in front of the doors. They're not on this floor, Connor whimpered. No, I don't think so, and we could be here all day trying to make sure. Or we could take the doll as a clue and go inside the elevator to the next level, I replied. We will be here forever either way. We were screwed ever since we walked into the gates, Dominguez said. We cautiously walked towards the elevators down the hall when... What felt like an earthquake, yet not an earthquake, but... Footsteps coming from behind us. Holy shit, I said. Move! We now sprinted down the hallway. As the elevator doors opened automatically somehow and we entered, turned around to see what was behind us and the elevator's door shut. I only got a quick glance at the thing, but no words could truly define it. It was big, and flames surrounded its body and its eyes. Its pitch black eyes. 
Something like that would give you nightmares for weeks. Man, how the heck could Jackson bring his little girls down here, bro? Dominguez asked. It didn't seem like Jackson, I added. He didn't seem like himself when he looked at me. There's just got to be more to it. Connor shook his head and loaded his M4 carbine machine gun. The elevator doors... The elevator started moving down. Shit! We didn't even press anything, I said frightened. We all watched in horror as each level shone on the screen. The more it went down, the more I sinked into my boots. Four. Five. Six. Seven and the elevator stopped. You gotta be kidding me, Dominguez said in disgust. This thing took us to the worst level of hell without even touching anything in this shithole box. Calm down, dude. We know, but we have to stick together. We can't lose our shit now, I said to him. The doors opened and we stepped outside the elevator. We saw demon-possessed humans walking around like some sort of ripped-up bloody zombies making moaning slurping noises with their mouths. This was no room. This was like Arizona, but on fire. Lakes and waterfalls of fire flames in the distance. Flying imps throwing fireballs onto the tortured human souls who were kept in the fire streams like a river that never ends. Demon troops walked nearby in formation, almost military-like. We hid behind a large boulder that was close by the elevator. Ahead of the demon troops, we could obviously see their leaders, or demon sergeants, watching over everything happening. Shocked beyond belief at this time, none of us spoke. I mean, what could I even say? This was hell. And not only that, we're lost at this point, but where the heck are the little girls? As soon as I thought that, right in front of us up ahead were 20 plus demon troops, but there were stone steps leading up to a platform. Connor, give me your binoculars, I said. He handed them to me and I looked through them, and to my surprise I see Jackson up there, on his knees praying to this big ass something, which I couldn't really tell anything due to the heavy fog. But behind Jackson were two little girls, holding each other, laying on the floor, crying their eyes out. Guys, up there! There they are! I motioned to them. Both men shared the binoculars to see where I was pointing to. I don't think there's a sneak approach to this, Dominguez said. There's just too many of them. There's nowhere to hide the ghost of Connor looked down at his gun, confused what to say. Connor looked down at his gun, confused what to say. I looked at them, swallowed my spit, and signed. They were just going to go blasting then. Head straight for the stairs and up to the girls, I said. That's suicide, Connor said. What other choice do we have? I replied. At least if we could get the girls and get back to the elevator, maybe, just maybe... We could get back to the first level where we started and get back to the base alive. It's worth a try, man, Dominguez said to Connor. If not, at least we... I motioned my hands for them to stop talking as one of the demons was walking close by the boulder we were hunched behind. Shh. I pointed my finger against my lips. Load up. Remember, stick together and head to the girls, I whispered to them. We all took a deep breath and nodded, stood up, and started jogging towards the stone steps up ahead to where Jackson and the girls were. At first, none of the creatures noticed us, until a flying imp pointed screaming, charging, flying towards us. Demons roared and headed to attack us. Imps flew closer and Connor let off his automatic. Demons roared and headed straight towards us. Imps flew by and Connor let off his automatic and the creatures screamed and dove dead into the fiery river. Huge red demons ran towards us. Heavy thumps like mini earthquakes shook the ground but we were blasting everything that came in sight or say, 
in range to be executed. Dominguez shot a sergeant demon right in the face, ripping its skull into two. Blood was everywhere. Keep going! I yelled. The demons and possessed humans were surrounding us, but we kept fighting. Now on the steps going upwards. As we went up the stone steps and shooting everything in sight, the imps rimmed Connor's shoulder from behind. Ah! He screamed. I turned and shot the flying imps dead with my shotgun and grabbed Connor's arm and motioned him to keep up. We reached the top of the stone steps, but stopped by a glitching figure that popped right in front of us, stopping us in our path. It was... a child. A pale-skinned girl with long black hair and an old-fashioned white sleeping gown. Who are you? Connor asked the child. Why are you here? Why are you blocking us? The child looked up with pure black eyes and smiled. I'm Carrie. I want their souls. Whose? I asked. Move or get moved, bitch! Dominguez yelled over his shoulder towards the girl as he was shooting another demon coming up the stairs. The children's! She gestured, smiling. I don't have anyone to play with down here. Well, that ain't happening, I said, aiming my shoddy towards her and pulling the trigger. BAM! But before the rounds hit anything, she vanished into thin air! We continued onto the top platform into the heavy fog. A strange red glowing light was up ahead. We came up to Jackson, aiming our weapons at him, motioning to the girls we were there to help them, and for them to come with us. We're gonna take you back to your mommy, okay? I said to them. They were scared out of their minds. Jackson saw us and screamed, No! They must be sacrificed for... Dominguez shot Jackson point-blank in the forehead, not even listening to Jackson's reason why he did what he did. I held the girls in my arms, making sure they didn't see anything. Connor was hunched over the table. He wasn't doing so well. He had lost a lot of blood. The redness started to get brighter into the fog nearby. Then the ground started to shake. Then it shook again. Whatever it was, it was big. Whatever that shit is, dude, I don't want to be here to meet it, Connor said. Let's get back to the elevator, I screamed at them. Girls, hold on to me and keep your eyes shut, okay? There's nothing you need to see here, it's really scary. I held one girl's hand with my right hand, and the other girl was on my back shoulders with their arms wrapped around my neck. We all ran down the steep stone steps. Connor and Dominguez still shooting the demons trying to stop us in our paths with the children. I only had my left hand free, which I was left-handed anyway, so it was all gravy with my Glock. Blasting another flying imp as it flew close by. The blood sprayed all over me and the children, and I continued to tell the girls not to open their eyes, never to look. Just keep tight on me. We finally reached the elevator, and again, the doors opened on their own, and we stepped inside. This time, Connor pressed one, and the doors closed. We were all silent. The only noise was the girls crying and my heart throbbing in my chest. The elevator banged and opened and we were on the first level again, which was some sort of dungeon. We ran out and headed down the hallway. Shit! Which way did we originally come in from? I asked myself, looking to my left. Then I looked to my right. When we heard some heavy thumps coming from behind us again, which shook the ground. Something big. We turned to see this huge, ten foot at least tall cyber demon with its left arm was some kind of mechanical weapon of some sort. It loud out a huge roar. We panicked and started running towards our left. God, I hope that's the right way, I told myself. Try not to worry the others. The giant demon lifted its mechanical arm and started firing at us. It was firing like fire rounds at us. Holy shit! We screamed, trying not to get hit by whatever the fuck it was shooting at us. He's firing fireballs up our asses! Dominguez yelled. 
people screaming and reaching for us along the hallways through the grimy bars. This place was still dark except for the flames. One of them had got a hold of Connor's shoulder and armor and held onto him. Let go, you fuck! He screamed. He was trying to break free. We turned to attempt to help him, when a large fireball fired from the cyber demon's arm, hitting Connor in the middle of his back. It melted his entire upper center body. One giant bloody hole in his chest. Blood dripping from his mouth as he fell to his knees, motionless with a dead stare. No! We screamed. The demon was laughing at him and now aimed his arm towards us. Keep going towards the gates! Dominguez screamed at me. Save the kids! I'll cover you as long as I can! I looked at him with worry yet respect and nodded. Don't be a hero! Shoot for a while and get your ass to the gate! We aren't leaving without you! I screamed back at him. Dominguez kept cover, then shooting at the demon as the girls and I continued down the dungeon path trying to find the gate we entered from. Where was it? I panicked. We kept going, looking around against the walls. I remembered it was on some type of dead-end wall or some sort. I know we're close, but I can't seem to find it. I can't see it. That's when I felt a large gust of wind. Shit! All the lights went out. I hope you enjoyed our story tonight around this campfire. I hope it didn't scare you too much. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends. And we will... See you next time.